as many companies take risk management very seriously, why should not country do the same to assess their resilience to risk? So to have a risk management framework per country, I think is a prerequisite to really early on identify risks, address them, even on a cross-country, regional, or perhaps also on a global scale. I think uh, today's key focus is of most of the business and political leaders rightfully on the economic situation that must be mastered and managed. But underneath we see fundamental changes in the overall environment and you know climate change is just one of those topics that will get increasingly important. What we see obviously you now with growing economy in particular emerging markets we see more and more a wealthy population also more moving for example closer to coastal areas exactly those areas that will be more affected by natural disasters so this is i think one of those topics that will be very strongly highlighted also in this year's global risk report The Global Risk Report, I think, is a great tool and a great analyze to highlight somewhat of the interconnectivity of these various risk types. It also helps to much better understand how those global risks can materialize within a given country. It's a huge difference when you take a country in Latin America compared to a country in Europe or to a country in Africa. So each country has its own, I think, uh, constituencies, its own key challenges, and the report helps clearly to better understand not only the global risks, but also how they could translate into a country risk perspective. The Global Risk Report actually has a couple of features. We have a global survey that allows to break down some of the results to various regions. But we have also built up a great network of individual companies, some top-notch universities that are working together. And they provide, I think, uh, new sources where you can do deeper dives, in particular from a company perspective, from a country perspective, or even from an industry perspective.